Have you ever wondered what a post-apocalyptic world would look like 30 years after we've gone? That's something I often think about. What would we leave behind? And when I was living in Kiev in Ukraine, I had the opportunity to see exactly what we leave behind. Catastrophic is a mild description on what happened at Chernobyl nuclear power plant at 1.26 a.m. on the morning of the 26th of April, 1986. Poor communication, the Soviet government's decision to try and keep the disaster secret, all made the situation even worse. The 50,000 people in the town of Pripyat, which is right next to the nuclear reactor, were only evacuated on the 27th of April. And the 220,000 people in 96 neighboring towns were evacuated quite a while later. Each town that was evacuated and abandoned has a marker in the special memory lane in Chernobyl town. This monument to the firemen was not made by professionals, but instead it was made by the families of the firemen who all died of radiation poisoning after the explosion. kindergarten we visited was extremely creepy with toys and resources, even shoes lying around um, just as they'd left it when they had to leave. houses were dismantled and buried um, within about 10 kilometers from the reactor and a marker was put to show that there's radioactive material there. The nuclear reactor 4 where the explosion took place was covered in a sarcophagus but it's cracking quite badly so they started building a new sarcophagus to cover it with. There were supposed to be six reactors, but they never ever finished building reactors five and six.
So the guide told us that the safe reading for humans is 0.3 and when we went to the entrance of the city of Pripyat the reading there was 5.8 and he said that's okay we can still go in it's just a little bit above So originally they thought they could just give the people gas masks um, when they complained of feeling sick and that would solve the problem. Then when they realized they had to evacuate them, they told them that it was they were only going to be gone for three days. It would be temporary and then they could come back. They must just take their documents and some clothes. But they never went back. And two years after the explosion, looters went in and um, helped themselves to everything that was left behind. They do believe, I mean, I, I'm just saying, this is just hearsay from the guide, but uh, they do believe that the police were involved in the looting. Um, so you could have, I suppose, you can think there were all these shops people's houses, everything was just left because they thought they were coming back. 
You can read more about the Chernobyl disaster by clicking on the link below, um, which will take you to my blog post. And if you could please like and subscribe, that would be awesome.